Okay, so today we are gonna talk about the advanced exercises for the hamstring. So we've done the video on the first exercises you should get to when you feel like you have strained your hamstring. We've done kind of that medium level where you're advancing, but you're not quite to that advanced level yet. And today we're gonna to talk about the more advanced hamstring exercises to really try and get those hamstrings stronger and get you back to playing sports if that's what you like to do, or if you like to run, anything where you're having to turn your hamstrings on and use them in a powerful way, mm -hmm. okay? So Courtney's gonna be our demonstrator today and we are gonna start with some deadlifts. So when you are doing deadlifts, you can do this with a barbell, you can do it with dumbbells, or you can do it with a heavy kettlebell. So Courtney's going to demonstrate with a heavy kettlebell today. Super heavy. Super heavy. So she's going to have that kettlebell kind of between her feet is that starting position there. And then she's going to hinge over at the hips. So you're hinging back. So your butt's going backwards. Like you're trying to shut the car door with your butt. And then you're going to pull that kettlebell up, keeping it nice and close to your body and then hinge all the way back down. So you can see Courtney's doing a really good job of keeping her spine in a straight line here. Oh, she lost it, but she's gonna get it back. There it is right there. So she's keeping her spine in a nice alignment, picking that heavy weight up and putting it back down. So what you wanna avoid is ending up just doing a squat if you're trying to work your hamstrings. So this is more of a kettlebell squat, which is still a great exercise, but it's not emphasizing your hamstrings quite as much as the kettlebell deadlift is gonna do. So we love single leg um, RDLs too. We love doing the single leg stuff with the kettlebell, but this is gonna be a heavier kettlebell, so you're gonna use both legs. All right, so I'm gonna move over this way. Second exercise is something called a tantrum. So Courtney has a baby, <laughs> but eventually the baby will end up having some tantrums and uh, do something a little like this with its legs. His legs. <laughs> so essentially, you are turning hamstrings on and off in a really fast, powerful way. And it doesn't take long to start feeling hamstrings burning on this one. Yep, just like that. So another way that you can do this is if you're laying on your stomach and you put the ball kind of on your back or on your bottom and you have somebody to oh, hold dear. the ball there, then you can kick into it laying in this position too, right? So you just kind of kick into it like so. Perfect. All right, so that one obviously you would need someone to hold the ball for, but those are two options for you if you want to do the hamstring tantrums. Tantrums are going to be something that you're going to want to time it versus rep count, right? Mm -hmm. So I would use... Um, a clock when you're doing this one, use it on your phone, of course, but instead of doing, you know, 30 reps, you might want to do for 30 seconds and then give yourself a break. What mm -hmm. do you think, 30 seconds? 30 seconds, good. Yeah. With me. So do a few rounds of that, hamstrings are going to be on fire. Yes. Okay? All right. So should we go super high velocity? Like the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it on those ones. So yes. All right. And then our final exercise is going to be using the TRX. You also have the option to do this one with a slider. With sliders. If you don't know what sliders are, this is what they look like. They have them in most gyms. So these are your sliders or your gliders. But uh, Courtney's going to show it on the TRX. So she's going to put her heels in the TRX, and then she's going to push down through her heels, bring her booty off the ground, and she's going to do the pull her heels in towards her bottom. Again, like Courtney was saying, the velocity here is going to matter. So the faster you do these, the harder they're going to be. And then your hips are going to want to slowly lower down to the ground as you get fatigued, Ooh. right? So you're not going to let that happen. You're going to keep hips elevated off the ground. Heels are going to be in the TRX or on sliders. And you're going to go in and out with those heels. Again, this one burns pretty quickly. This one you can do for the 30 seconds or this one you can do for reps. Yeah. What do you like to do for it? I usually go timed, but you, timed. Can, you can definitely do either of those. Yes, either one. Even just bringing your, your booty up off the ground and, um, and holding there is going to mm -hmm. be really hard too. Yeah. So um, you can think about it like a reverse mountain climber. Exactly. As well. Awesome. All right. So those are three higher level hamstring exercises to kind of close out our uh, hamstring series here. <laughs> 
Yep, go ahead and try those at home and then you can start to advance more of your realistic, you know, running and everything. And if you have any questions about like a running progression, give us a call. We can definitely give you something like that and hopefully you can get out on the court and do some more drills if you're into tennis or pickleball and your hammies will be feeling good.